You've probably heard that seeds are a unique kind of food that have a ton of health benefits. However, among all the seeds, pumpkin seeds hold a special place because they have numerous health benefits that have been verified by both conventional medicine and folk medicine. So what will happen to our bodies if we frequently eat pumpkin seeds? What adjustments will be made? Watch the entire video since it contains detailed information that will be both intriguing and helpful. Let's go on. By the way, friends, make sure to click the bell and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my next releases. Since there are almost a thousand different varieties of this food, it must be mentioned that pumpkin seeds are forgotten from the pumpkin, as is not difficult to guess. So let's discuss this benefit in further depth. The zinc content is the first point. A crucial mineral that has a significant impact on our bodies is zinc. First of all, zinc is crucial for maintaining our immune system and other systems as well. The list of organs and physiological processes in which zinc plays a vital role might be extremely lengthy. Therefore, if we eat a typical handful of pumpkin seeds, about 30 grams, they will contain almost 70% of the recommended daily intake of zinc. Yes, we have to admit that these strange record breakers in terms of this mineral content in addition to supporting our immune system, zinc is crucial for maintaining the health of our bones. So it keeps them from overgrowing and aids in restoring their density. In addition, zinc is beneficial in cases of joint inflammation. Additionally, zinc is excellent for restoring normalcy to our digestion, aids in the reduction of bad cholesterol, low-density lipoproteins, and supports weight loss while on a diet. Moreover, consuming a few handfuls of pumpkin seeds every day would be a highly effective preventative measure because zinc is particularly beneficial for men's health. The capacity of pumpkin seeds to drive away worms is its next consequence. One of their most well-known properties is certainly this one. Of course, you could just take a medicine to get rid of the worms, but this would require a doctor's prescription. However, consuming pumpkin seeds regularly as a preventative step is highly recommended. Pumpkin seeds, or rather the cling that surrounds them, contain cucurbit betin, an amino acid that is completely harmless for humans, but is much despised by worms since it paralyzes them and aids in their removal. It is also important to note that pumpkin seeds contain other vitamins in exceptionally high concentrations. These are copper, iron, manganese, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, and potassium. Together, they will have a very positive impact on our general health and ability to keep our bodies looking young. Thus, they will have an impact on both the internal and outward manifestations, including the state of the skin, hair, and nails. One cautionary note is worth mentioning though. The biggest benefit comes from eating raw pumpkin seeds, since when they are roasted, they simply become a pleasant treat and lose most of their beneficial characteristics. The capacity of pumpkin seeds to prevent cancer, especially esophageal cancer, is another highly intriguing quality. This is due to the zinc and calcium concentration in pumpkin seeds. Scientists believe that this combination is what causes the anti-cancer effect. The calcium signals that cancer cells send are sort of reacted to and neutralized by zinc. There is still another intriguing characteristic of pumpkin seeds. They are used to treat nausea episodes and motion sickness. They can therefore assist, for instance, if a person becomes seasick when traveling by boat or on a plane. The magnesium content is the next point. The truth is that if a person drinks enough magnesium each day, conditions like sudden cardiac arrest, heart attack, or stroke can occur far less frequently. Therefore, 30 grams of pumpkin seeds can offer half of the recommended daily intake of magnesium. In actuality, magnesium has a wide variety of impacts overall, affecting more than just that. One of the most crucial elements, calcium contributes to the function of our heart, muscles, and teeth in addition to lowering blood pressure and influencing physical stamina. A daily intake of 400 milligrams of magnesium is required for adults. Pumpkin seeds also include a respectable amount of fiber. An adult requires roughly 30 grams of fiber every day, as I've stated several times on my YouTube channel, and most people on Earth probably do not consume enough of it. Additionally, fiber is excellent for the health of both our digestive and overall systems. 
As an added source of fiber, eating pumpkin seeds daily is a really good choice. Perhaps not everything is as ideal as it seems, and pumpkin seeds might have certain drawbacks or even be harmful. Naturally, it is a nutritious diet in general, but there are certain subtleties to be aware of and some contraindications as well. First off, excessive use of pumpkin seeds is not advised for people who have stomach ulcers. This is because they are very heavy foods that take a lot of energy to digest, like nuts, and while this is normal for a healthy body, it can exacerbate stomach ulcers in people who already have them. In addition, pumpkin seeds are a naturally high-calorie food with 560 call per 100 grams, so if you're trying to lose weight, you should consider your daily caloric intake. Also keep in mind that while pumpkin is generally thought of as a hypoallergenic foodstuff, there may be subtleties with pumpkin seeds. Some persons may experience an allergic reaction to pumpkin seeds. Of course, you shouldn't force someone into anything if they have a particular intolerance. Lastly, some advice on how to pick the best pumpkin seeds. Both with and without the peel are available for purchase. Pay attention to the integrity of the peel if you purchase them that way. In any event, there shouldn't be any indications of dampness, evidence of insects, or, God forbid, mold in the goods. We shouldn't believe that if we purchase a bag of sunflower seeds and one of them becomes moldy, the remaining sunflower seeds will still be good. No, because of the characteristics of mold, what we see is only the top of the iceberg. It has likely already dispersed its spores far farther and deeper. In other words, if one representative in a bag is moldy, we need to discard the entire bag, not just that one representative. Additionally, you should smell the goods because the presence of an odd smell may suggest that it is slightly rotting or moldy. Additionally, if you purchase fresh, peeled seeds, take note that they should be green in color and have a very smooth, almost shiny surface. It is not advised to purchase such a thing if it is shriveled or has a brownish hue. By the way, friends, please tell in the comments how you consume pumpkin seeds or whether you have never done so. I also urge you to view my other video in which I discuss the effects of chia seed consumption on body. And that product is also really incredible. Take a look at this movie if you haven't already done so by clicking the link that just appeared on your computer, the link I left in the description, and the link I secured in the first remark. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you around. We'll talk shortly.